I think Ryan's one of those guys where he just has to, he loves to help people. You know what I mean? I mean, Kate's got a lot of problems. She's got a lot of issues going on in her brain constantly. She's just constantly thinking. And he, he just, uh, he likes to repair. And he likes to make things right. And, you know, he's just a good guy. And, yeah, he's got a, he's got a high tolerance for uh, pain. He gets hit a lot. It's a lot to deal with, you know. He loves this this woman, obviously, and but he's getting he's getting a 15 year old daughter, you know, at the same time. So it's a process for him, and it's a lot to deal with for him. And you'll see later on in the season that it becomes too much. Yeah, Ryan will be a father figure for Lux uh, for sure. I mean, um, Brittany and I have had probably a half a dozen scenes together where it's just the two of us, and it's always it's always fun because it's always me giving her some kind of fatherly advice um, or we're sharing something special. I always, I told Liz, I said, you know, I think it's very important that Ryan and, and Lux share something that her parents can't give her. And the thing that we figured out is that we're both, both going through the same process. We're both in the same boat. We're kind of waiting for Kate to come around and realize what she really has. Um, and that's what we have together. I really love it. And even some of those scenes, she's given me advice too. Just tuning in to Morning Madness, Kate and I are in the middle of a rousing game of sex, marry, kill. I did the Jessica's sex, Beal, Mary Alba, and definitely kill Simpson. Oh, um, you forgot Jessica Rabbit and baby Jessica. <laughs> See, now Kate is telling me that she she doesn't want to play because she doesn't believe. Well, first in of all, Sherry and I, uh, we are like that off screen as well. <laughs> I mean, she thinks one thing, and I almost 100% of the time think the exact opposite, and I'll let her know, and she'll let me know with no repercussions. Do you know what I mean? We just love to just hit each other with, uh, with everything we got every time, and it, it just bounces off each other. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And the same kind of thing happens in the radio station. You really have two audiences when we're doing the radio stuff. You have the listeners, where you know they're hearing us talk, but you have the viewers at home that are watching us talk. So what we're saying and what we're doing a lot of times are completely different. You know what I mean? You know, we're, we're talking about one thing, but you know, I'm giving her the finger in the scene or something like that. There's a lot of headbutting between Ryan and Baze, yeah. But I'm going with the theory. It, it, to me, it's kind of boring if you just hate each other. So what I'm going with is I think there's a part of Ryan that actually was Baze. You know, back in the day when he was younger, maybe his college years. Um, but, you know, Ryan, somewhere down the line, just chose to grow up and, you know, chose to become a professional and a responsible individual, and Bayes did not. He chose to stay in that, you know, mind frame of uh, uh, a nine iron. <laughs> um, so I, I think there's a, there's a part of Ryan in there somewhere, and I think he amuses Ryan to some degree, but come on, enough's enough. He also wants to punch him in the face. 